In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of the quadratic function in a variety of forms. So let's begin with this one. We want to find the equation in standard form, and it passes through the points 1, 4, 3, 16, and it contains a y-intercept of 7. So how can we do this? So for the y-intercept of 7, the point is 0, 7. x is 0. That's something that we want to keep in mind. Now we want to write the equation in standard form. So that is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c format. So what we need to do is we need to use these three points to determine the values of a, b, and c. Once we have those values, we will have the equation of the quadratic function. So let's start with the y-intercept since that's going to be the easiest. y is 7 x is 0. So let's replace it accordingly. a times 0 squared is 0. b times 0 is 0. So we could see that c is 8. So let's save that over here somewhere. Now let's use the other two points to determine a and b. So let's start with the point 1 comma 4. Let's replace y with 4 and x with 1. And c, we know it's 7, so we can put that in. Now, I'm going to subtract both sides. Actually, first, let's simplify this. 1 squared is 1 times a. That's just a. b times 1 is just b. So we have this right now. Now, I want to get all numbers besides a and b on the other side. In this case, I want to subtract both sides by 7. So 4 minus 7 is negative 3. We get negative 3 is a plus b. So let's save that over here. We're going to need a system of equations to find the variables a and b, or at least the value of those variables. Now let's mo move on to the next point, 3, 16. So y is 16, x is 3. Three squared or three times three is nine. And then we have three B plus C. We can replace C with seven. Now let's subtract both sides by seven, just like we did before. 16 minus seven is nine. So we have nine is equal to nine A plus three B. Now we don't need to try to move these numbers to the left side, but we can reduce this equation because each of these numbers are divisible by three. So let's divide everything by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we have this. 3b divided by 3 is just 1b, or b. So I'm going to write this equation here. We have 3 is equal to 3a plus b. So we have a system of two equations, which we need in order to solve for two variables. We could use addition or elimination well, no, we can use substitution or elimination to solve these two equations. I'm going to use elimination. I'm going to multiply the first equation by negative 1. So negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. And then a plus b becomes negative a and negative b. Now, the other equation, I'm just going to rewrite it. Now, let's add these two equations b and negative b, they will cancel. 3 plus 3 is 6. Negative a plus 3a is 2a. So at this point, we could divide by 2. And we get 6 divided by 2 is 3. So a is 3. Now that we have a, we could use any one of these two equations to get b. Let's use this equation. So we have 3 is equal to 3 times a, a is 3, and then plus b. Three times three is six. And then if we subtract six from both sides, we get that b is negative three.
Actually, I made a mistake, which I need to correct. 3 times 3 is not 6. 3 times 3 is 9. Something just didn't feel right. Okay, so now if we subtract both sides by 9, 3 minus 9 is negative 6. So that's the value of B. Mistakes happen. It's good to look over your work to catch those mistakes. So now that we have the values of A, B, and C, all we need to do is substitute it in this equation. So let's replace A with 3, and let's replace B with negative 6, and C is 7. So this is going to be our answer. Y is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus 7. Number two, find the equation of the quadratic function in standard form that passes through the points 1, 3, 2, 5, and 3, 11. So if you want to pause the video and you want to try this one, feel free to do so. It is a little bit harder than the last one because we don't have the y-intercept. So we're going to need a system of three equations in order to determine the variables of a, b, and c. So let's begin. We have y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, the standard form of a quadratic equation. Let's start with the first point, 1 comma 3. So x is the first number, y is the second number. So let's replace y with 3 and x with 1. So we get 3 is equal to a plus b plus c. So I'm going to save that equation over here. Now, let's get the second equation using the second point. So y is 5 and a is 2. two. 2 squared is 4, and then we have b times 2, which is 2b. So we can't really simplify that equation, but let's write it over here. So we have 5 is equal to 4a plus 2b plus c. Now let's move on to the third point, 311. So let's replace y with 11 and x with 3. Three squared is nine, and then we have b times three, and we can't simplify this equation either. So we're just gonna write it. So now we have a system of three equations, which we need in order to solve for three variables. So let's use elimination, just like we did before. Let's focus on eliminating c. So I'm gonna use the first two equations. I'm going to multiply equation 1 by negative 1. So when I do that, this becomes negative 3 is equal to negative a minus b minus c. The second equation, I'm just going to write it right beneath the first one. So once we add these two equations, notice that the variable c will cancel. Negative c plus c is 0. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Negative a plus 4a is 3a. A negative b plus 2b is 1b. So we get this equation, 2 is equal to 3a plus b. So notice how we've used equations 1 and 2 to get this simplified equation. Now we need to use two other equations to get another equation that has a and b so that we can solve for a and b. Now, we need to use at least equation 3. We could use equation 3 and 2 or equation 3 and 1, but 3 has to be included. I'm going to go with 3 and 1 because 1 is just easy to deal with. So I'm going to multiply equation 1 by negative 1. The reason being is we need to cancel the same variable. We cancel C before, we need to cancel it again. So multiplying equation 1 by negative 1, we get this again. Negative 3 is equal to negative a minus b minus c. Now equation 3, I'm just going to write it underneath it. So we have to cancel the same variable so that we can get two equations with a and b. 
So now let's add these two equations. C will cancel again. Negative 3 plus 11 is 8. Negative A plus 9A is 8A. And negative B plus 3B is 2B. Now notice that we have even coefficients. Therefore, we can reduce this equation if we divide everything by 2. This will give us 4 is equal to 4A plus B. So I'm going to write that here. So now we have two equations and two variables. And it looks like we can easily cancel B. So let's multiply this equation by negative 1. So we'll have negative 2 is equal to negative 3A minus B. And we'll write the second equation right beneath that one. So the B's will cancel. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Negative 3A plus 4A is 1A. So we have that A is equal to 2. Now, let's determine the value of B. So I'm going to use this equation. So we have 2 is equal to 3A. I'm going to replace A with 2 and solve for B. 2 times 3 is 6. Now let's subtract both sides by 6. This will cancel. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Bringing down B, we get B is equal to negative 4. So let's get rid of this. And we don't need this anymore. But now let's determine the value of C. And the easiest equation to use is the first one. So we have 3 is equal to A plus B plus C. And A is 2. B is negative 4. And let's calculate C. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So adding 2 to both sides, we get 3 plus 2 is 5. Bringing down to C, we get C is equal to 5. So now we could write the final equation, which is y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. So that's it for this problem. That's how we could find the equation of the quadratic function if we're given three points and neither of which is the x or y intercept. Problems number three and four, they're slightly different from the first two. And for those of you who want to watch the rest of this video, you can access the full length video for free at my Patreon page, which you can find the links in the description section below.